the question was, what's going to be my favorite One Piece arc? And I said, I just finished Arlong Park. I had the options of Fishman Island, Alabasta, Wano, Eni's Lobby, and Water 7. Uh, I definitely had an assumption on this one, too. I definitely thought Wano was going to hard gap just because this is the one that I hear everybody talking mm -hmm. about. But actually, these this Eni's Lobby actually gapped Wano by 29%. Yeah. So you have 2% for Fishman Island, 3% for Alabasta, 30% for Wano, 59% for any lobby, and 6% for Water 7. What do you think about that? Because I, I was, I was, honestly, at, I, I really barely even like heard about Eni's lobby. Honestly, so. at 6% on Eni's lobby, because Eni's lobby and Water 7 are basically the same arc. They just conjoined. Oh. So it gaps even more. But So that's double. So it doubled Wano, which I thought everybody, but, but Wano, I, I'm talking about pretty much the anime right yeah. now. I don't think the coolest stuff got animated yet from Wano. Oh, uh, right now, yeah, the coolest stuff from Wano hasn't got an anime, but they've started to animate some of Roof Piece, like some of the like climactic fights. But there's still a decent amount to go. Um, I think, I mean, by the time we catch up, it might be just animated by the time. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it's true that you're gonna like any like, one. Any's lobby is closer, and. People, Wait, what episode? Like any slot, it's closer than Wano. Any lobby is like maybe the three, three hundred. Oh, that's still deep. It's it's deep. I, it, it's either it's either two hundred to three hundred. I gotta check, but it's close. And I think that is the best, one of the best pre time skip arcs, close to Marine Ford. Honestly, that's a hard one. I don't know which one I like more, Marine Ford. Or any, honestly, I think I might like Eni's Lobby because Eni's even Lobby have Marine like, Ford on here actually, because they only YouTube only gave me five five options. To even yeah, if it. you would have known that Water Seven and Eni's Lobby were the same, you could have added. Yeah, it. but, but like, it, these these things come about like yeah. literally while it's like three in the morning. So, but I think Eni's Lobby because Eni's Lobby is what made me really fall in love with One Piece. When I was watching, when I was watching One Piece, I was really watching One Piece. And I was just trying to get, I was enjoying it, but I was trying to get through it. And to be honest, I was watching it mostly in dub to get through it. Once I got the when I got the Water Seven Eni's Lobby, it was really picking my interest. Took the remote, switched that right <laughs> to sub. <laughs> paid attention, and I was on right straight through, blowing through Eni's Lobby, and it was so good. It was so good. Like what makes Eni's Lobby good? Like what? what it's is, like what is what's it, it called? First of all, it's your first like piece of like I think it's one. Of, it's not your first, but it's one of the biggest like start of like world building hmm. for like one piece you have like this big like city like built on like it's like first of all there's this thing that's called a sea train it's literally a train that goes on water you have what there's like then you have this place it's like where like a bunch of it's like known for shipwrights and we find out that's where the pirate king's ship was made oh the white now where the reason why they're there in the first place is because um uh, the Mary needed some repairs from the last arc. Mm. So they were there. They got mad bread. And so it's like, and not to mention, the city is beautiful. And it starts, and it's also, a, it ends up being from there from a repairing. Okay, we're, it's like a pit stop repairing. Yeah. And we get lore, and then it ends up being a retrieval arc because something happened oh. to one of the one of the crew members. Oh, dang. So they have to go and like figure out, like, yo, what happened? Like, why, why are they leaving? Mm. So... It goes from that to a retrieve arc. Then it has really good villains. The villains are, are oh, tough. The villains? Oh. Yeah, the villains are tough. Yo, and we comment also if the villains are fire. And yo, and I think the most important part also is that we start to learn about who the real enemy is with the world, the, the government. Yo, the government always the ops, bro. Yeah, every <laughs> single time IRL in anime, it oh, always the ops. It, there's there's three. No, there's two big rules in anime. One, the government is always bad. The, the church is always bad in anime, too. Yeah. That's two. And then three, and the most important one, the student council rules over <laughs> all, no. all mere mortals, and they are above <laughs> religion, yes. government, and everything. Nah. The, the, the student government, literally, no diffs, no. everybody Randy in anime. Randy's spitting. Like, literally. <laughs> the, the student government, they are the hierarchy. They are what you try to be in life. 